Hi guys! Today I wanted to make a video about my weekly schedule and my schedule in general. Um, I've done a few different things in the past, so I'm going to show you what I've done in the past and what I'm trying to implement now. Um, I've said before that I was engaged when I was 17 and I was a senior in high school and that went down with my family like a lead balloon. Um, of course it was you're too young, you don't know what you're getting into. Um, it just People are happy because they know Tony and they love him, but it was very difficult because we were so young. I mean, I was still in high school and they just didn't think it was a good idea. So because of all the negativity that we received when we got engaged, I decided um, to take on being a housewife um, as a career. I read all kinds of books. I learned how to cook. I learned how to sew. I mean, it was 1987. Um, and these were the things that I thought in my mind that I really needed to accomplish to be a great wife and a mother. Um, so I read this one book called The Sidetracked Home Executives. Um, you may still be able to get at the library. Excuse me. Um, I think they've revised it. I'll put the link down below who wrote it. And one of the sisters actually has a website now, so it's a lot of fun. So I'm going to dig right into what I started with as a young wife and continued all throughout um, our homeschooling. Um, we've my kids graduated in 2009 so we haven't been homeschooling for four years and it's been a little difficult for me to get on track and get a schedule so let's get started with my first system so here is my index card box um, when I read the sidetracked home executives they had a very specific plan and how you're supposed to clean your house and do certain things so I implemented their plan and basically what you have is your days of the week cards Sunday Monday Tuesday you have the um, date cards with the numbers on it and then I added a few things you have your monthly cards and this is where I put people's birthdays and things so I would remember and then well, I'm getting ahead of myself and then I have other things inspiration scripture parties Christmas these were my own tabs um, this one LHF right here, sorry, can't see that. It's actually from a book called Light His Fire um, that was very popular in the 80s. And th these are little cards and tips that I got um, from that book to keep our marriage alive and fun. I mean, I think a lot of people become mothers and they forget that they're wives and that their husband needs a wife, not a mother. He has a mother. So basically what we do is we have these orange cards are seasonally jobs things you do once a season so those are all one color and these were orange and then you have your weekly cards and this is like you pick a day so here was my schedule way back when each day you have chores Sunday Monday so you can see that you know you don't clean the whole house in one day you spread it out um, throughout the week so what's this kids bath so this must have been this was Sunday I haven't dug into this file box in a long time and these are all my weekly chores that I need to do in the kids bathroom so I would do these chores and then I would move this back to the next week and then the kids bedrooms so and then weekly um, I had a day for myself and I would give myself a manicure pedicure and facial that didn't always happen I had two children 18 months apart so that didn't always happen so and then just more bedroom cards so you have your weekly cards which were blue season cards which were orange my personal cards were green because green's my favorite color because I'm Irish and then your daily chores are on yellow and they recommend you put one job per card on the file but I didn't need that much babysitting so I just put everything for each room that I wanted to do daily on each card and this is how I did my housework and when the kids were little I wouldn't leave the house if we had something to do until all of my cards for that day were done. Um, it just really helped and kept us on a schedule. And as the kids got older, they each had their own, not really a file box, but they had a, like a wall hanging and they had cards because I believe that you need to teach your children how to take care of themselves and how to run a household. I've always told my friends, I wasn't raising children, I was raising adults. I didn't want my children to become 23 years old and not know how to write a check, not know how to wash a dish, not how to do their laundry. They were doing their laundry um, as soon as they could reach the buttons on the washing machine. Because we homeschooled, I just couldn't do everything. So this is what you'll find in the Sidetracked Home Executives. This is their plan. This plan worked great for me. 
um, because it was all self-contained and in this little box and I could carry it from wherever I needed to go. And also, um, if I was ever sick or in the hospital or something happened, someone could come into my box and run my household. Everything was right there for them. Um, I'm going to get into my menu planning in another video. That's kind of an extensive process, so we're not going to cover that right now. Now what I'm doing, um, or trying to do, shall we say, is a binder technique. I have um, my basic weekly household plan at the front page. This is in a um, laminated piece of paper, so I won't lose it or it won't get damaged. And then I have my basic weekly plan for my business. These are things that I want to start doing for my blog and my YouTube and my Etsy shop. So this is my plan. This is my basic guideline. And then I have tabs for daily, weekly, monthly. So let's just flip over. And I used scrapbook paper, real pretty scrapbook paper. And I bought it eight and a half by 11, but then I cropped the corners. And then I bought the post-it labels that you can write on. I just thought this was prettier, so you know, makes you want to do things when you have pretty stuff. I haven't really instituted this Monday schedule because I don't really have appointments and things like that. I'm pretty much a free spirit, which is part of the problem. I have no schedule. Then I have my chores here. These are all my daily chores that used to be on cards, which are now written here. And I just used um, a scrap of scrap of paper and did the same thing. So here are my daily chores for every day. These are things I want to do every single day. And this is also on a laminated piece of paper. And my daughter actually did a video and she recommended you use these wet erase pens instead of the dry erase because it doesn't, you know, well this one did, but it doesn't come off as well unless you use a, like a wet paper towel. Um, so you don't have to worry about your things coming off. So this is my daily schedule and everything is on the laminated sheet. Then I have my weekly tab. Again, same thing. And then I have my weekly chores, what I want to do on Sunday, what I want to do on Monday, Tuesday. Um, so this will keep me more on a schedule, keep my house clean. You know, I'm pretty much an empty nester, so my house doesn't really get mess unless I am doing big projects or I've gone to a lot of thrift stores and garage sales and I don't know where to put all the stuff I bought. So then I have my monthly tab, and this is a real problem if you can see it's glitter paper, but the tab doesn't want to stick to this, so I may have to take that down. And this is where I keep my monthly schedule, and I just printed these off my computer. I didn't buy anything fancy, I just printed them. So this way I kind of can keep track of birthdays and what's coming up and everyone's schedule. And then these are the seasonal chores. So these would be monthly whenever I chose to do them. And these are things like I have the plant shelf in my kitchen that has all kinds of tchotchkes on it. And that has to be dusted. I usually do that right before Christmas so the house is ready to go. And then these again, just things that don't need to, to be done every day or every week. Like, you know, once or twice a year. So this is my monthly chores. Then I have a tab for home to-do list. We are in the process, well, right before the wedding, we redid a lot of the stuff in the house, and we have a few more things to do to kind of get it ready for sale. Um, don't know when we're going to sell it, but hopefully when everyone figures out what they're doing. So this is all my home stuff, and it's all kind of the same colors, beiges and golds and creams. And then we get into my personal file. Again, same thing, scrapbook paper. And this is where I keep all my Bible verses that I want to remember, my inspirations, my personal goals. Um, my wish list, which is kind of things I want to buy, things I want to do. Ah, look, i got lots of stuff on there. Hmm. Um, then my business, Dixie Debutantes, and then my goals for my business, blog, I whoops, blog ideas, and then projects so I can keep track of what needs to be done, and then, of course, YouTube video ideas. So I just put this whole thing together with a real pretty notebook from Target. I got this little pencil pouch to keep in the front to keep my dry erase markers and a pencil for my calendar and then this way I don't have to search for something to use. And then the outside is this faux black alligator print. Um, every good Southern Belle needs something with alligator skin. So this will match and when I show you my uh, meal planning video, it's the the box is black and so it'll go together and in my kitchen, um, my messy kitchen, if you can see, I have black granite countertops. So I can keep all of this in my kitchen and just open it up when I'm ready to start my day 
and see what I've got going on. And this is basically how I'm hoping my life will be more organized. After homeschooling for 12 years, um, it's hard to find a new schedule that doesn't require me to wake up at 8 o'clock and do sing, spell, read, and write. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry if it was kind of choppy. And I will put the links to the Sidetracked Home Executives book um, in the comments. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.